Welcome to your Microsoft Excel and data analysis assessment. It is very important that we follow this instruction on this video. My name is Young, and I will take us through this Microsoft Excel and data analysis assessment so that we'll be able to have a seamless process on your assessment. However, before we begin the, the, take the assessment instruction, I want to remind us of the course itself, Microsoft Excel and data analysis. They are not the same. Microsoft Excel is a separate course. Data analysis is a separate course. Recall when you were making your course choices, Excel, Microsoft Excel was a course on its own. Data analysis was a course on its own. However, these two courses happens the same time. These two courses happen the same time. It is the same lecture. That is to say, if you choose Microsoft Excel as the course you want to take, automatically, as you are taking Microsoft Excel, you will do part of the data analysis. If you say it is data analysis you want to take as one of your courses out of the five, it means the tools you are going to be using to analyze your data is Microsoft Excel. So by which way, you have automatically have access to the two training. But it is one, they are separate courses rather. Ex Microsoft Excel and data analysis are separate courses. Now that you have taken this training and it happens to be that they are together, they run concurrently. How can you now differentiate if it is Microsoft Excel that you have taken or if it is data analysis you have taken? Yes, you have been able to have privilege to take the, the training for both. However, this is where the separation now comes. It is during your assessment. And I'm going to be telling you where the separation happens. But I just want to remind us that there are two separate courses and the certificates are different. Now, let us begin with the assessment process. We want to look at the instructions that we need to take when we are taking our data analysis and Microsoft Excel assessment. If you look at your screen, we have, a, we have instruction, and this is the instruction for section A. We have section A, section B, and section C of our Microsoft Excel and data analysis post-training assessment instruction. Uh, one of the instruction you need to take very seriously is number one, for you to review all the class video provided on our communication channel, which is the WhatsApp group, and that has already been communicated. Now, about the video, it is not the live session of your training that happens that we have uploaded uh, for you to review. However, it is the same training, the same facilitator. And even if the facilitator changes tomorrow, one of the best ways for you to learn something is for you to listen to different speakers or different persons or different facilitator. And again, this video is also provided for those who are taking the self-led training. So <clears throat> we don't go and publish every session, every video we have with everyone. No, we have published the one that has been well streamed and well documented and we publish it to you so that you can actually have something to review before you take the assessment. So just in case you play the recordings and they are not the same with the one you had um, in, the, in the class, in the live class, I want you to have it in mind that it is the same training, um, the same facilitator, even if the facilitator should change tomorrow, it is the same information and it is very, very important. Number two is the basic Excel project file will be provided. So we are going to be uploading the basic Excel file on the WhatsApp group on our communication channel. Now, this uh, Excel project file contains the project instruction you have to carry out. So you have to open it and read for you to get the details of the project uh, of the assessment you are about to carry out. Now, when you are carrying out this, your task, this is number three. Now, when you are carrying out your projects, please, you have to carry out your project on Microsoft Excel software. Please, 
you have to carry out your tax on Microsoft Excel software. And this is how it looks like. Open a new file. So this is where you are to carry out your assessment. It must be on Microsoft Excel. Please do not carry out this assessment on Word documents. That is MS Word. Do not convert to PDF. Carry out your assessment on Microsoft Excel. Please, it is very important. Now let's go back. Now, now that you have known that you need to carry out your assessment on the Microsoft um, Excel, the next thing you need to do is you must save your file with your official name. Your file must be saved with your official name. That's number four. Now, how do you save your file with your official name? Let us go back to that Microsoft Excel I just opened now. Now, if you look at your screen, this is already showing us that the Microsoft Excel is book one. So you have to just come to your file here and you save as, you save on your computer. Uh, let me see, I want to save in download. Now, if you see it, it has um, an automatic um, um, a file name. So I'm going to change it to my official name. So my official name is Young Solomon. Godwin, I think I've saved some file before in that name. Yes, uh, maybe I'll just put one, but you have to save your own um, with your full name. So these are you go ahead and of course you go, and, you go ahead and see. Now I've saved this file in my name. And if you look somewhere up here, you will see that it is saved as Young Solomon Godwin. This is how you are to save your work when you are done carrying out your tax on the Microsoft Excel page. Now let's move to section C of our assessment guide. What's the next thing you are to do when you are carrying out your assessment? Section B. Now, you are to send a mail with your attached file to this email address, dhcng online at gmail.com. That will be provided on your WhatsApp platform. An instruction will also be provided on the, on the WhatsApp platform for you to go to. Now, how can you send that mail to us you, by you attaching your file? How do you do that? Now, let's go. Let me also share with us how we can do that. Let's, let me share with us. Of course, many of us know how to um, send a mail but I just need us to be aware of what we need to do, actually. So how do you do that? Let's go, let me share with you. Good. Now we are to send out the mail to uh, dhcnonline at gmail.com. Let me see. The, so you can just go ahead and copy. Let me quickly uh, look for it. DHCN at, um, uh, let me quickly look for it so that um, you can send. So you will just copy it from your, from the WhatsApp, which we have provided, which we, from the instruction we will provide on the WhatsApp, you just copy it. So I've copied and I'll paste it here. So that's DHCN, and I would um, make a subject. I'll say, uh, if it is Excel that we want, you can just go ahead and say Excel, and data, let me bring this if I can zoom it. Yes, good. Excel and data, Data analysis assessment. Then you go ahead and type the body of your meal. Then you see uh, the SR. Please find a task. The assessments 
for Excel and data analysis. Please. So now you are now to indicate the um, the certificate you want. Okay, so you have to say um, either please or kindly process, kindly process uh, Excel and data analysis certificate. So if you want data analysis at Microsoft Excel, a certificate, this is what you are to write in your body of your mail. But if you want only data analysis or only Microsoft Excel, this is what you are to do. So I will clean this kindly, uh, I'll clean the Excel. Then, uh, okay, let me see, let me go back. Yes, so I will clean, I will now come back. If I want only Excel, I will clean the data analysis, I will delete. I've cleaned it, so kindly process Excel, uh, Microsoft Excel rather, Microsoft Excel. Certificate only. By doing this, you have indicated the certificate you, you want. Let's say it is not Microsoft Excel certificate that you want. You want my, uh, data analysis certificate. So you have to clean this. Kindly process data analysis certificate only. By doing this, you have indicated the certificate that you want. You might want both. You might want either of the two. Please, you need to indicate this. If you do not indicate this, you have not followed the instruction. And by so doing, your name will not appear as you should be on the spreadsheet I'm going to show you. Then you can go ahead and say, Thank you. Now, don't forget, you need to attach the file. The file we just saved. So I, I click on my attach. You see it here? This is the file I just saved, Young Solomon Godwin. So I click the attach. This is the attachment. I've clicked it then. Of course, I go ahead and open then you see that it is attaching. And as soon as you have attached, what do you do? You hit your send. Now you have officially sent, you have officially submitted your assessment, either for Microsoft Excel and data analysis, or a Microsoft Excel only, or data analysis only. You have successfully done that. Now, what's the next thing for you to do if you have submitted? What do you do next? If you have submitted, let's still look at the instruction again. Now, days after submission, I would say maybe two days after submission. That's 48 hours. Please check the Google spreadsheet that will be pinned on the chart. Ensure your name appears on the sheet if you have fulfilled the assessment instruction of number one and number two. Now, what is the assessment instruction of number one and number two? Number one is that you need to have sent your mail, attach the file and send to dhcngonline at gmail.com. And I've already showed us how to send. So if you have done one and two, then you can come to number three and check if your name is there. Now let's go and check how the Google spreadsheet looks like. How does the Google spreadsheet looks like? And uh, let's go, let's see how uh, it does look like how your name would appear. All right. Okay, I think I've not opened it, so let me just open it and see how your name uh, will look like. Good. Good. So the spreadsheet that is going to be pinned on the WhatsApp group and when you open it, this is how it looks like. Yes. So uh, let me just quickly take us through this submission list for 2023. Uh, this is a uh, submission list for January and February 2024 this year. And this is submission list for April and March and April session. 
And of course, this is submission for May and June session. So if you scroll down, all the way down, you see July and August session, all the way down to move to a new session and all of that. Now, um, as a new session, as you are submitting a new session like this, we'll be updated for that month. We'll update it so that you can see and we'll direct you to go to the session, uh, the month you are training. But we are going to be using July and August 2024 session as example. Now, look at this page. You will see, you are seeing name, you are seeing checked, you are seeing date of some date of submission rather, then you are seeing certificate to be issued. Let me see, I think I have, let me use, no, let me use another one. Uh, let me use another one that has, yes, good. Let me use this one. Let me use this one instead. So let's use March and April session 2024. So what are you seeing? You are seeing name, you are seeing checked. Let me put this. Checked. Checked means this person has fulfilled all the requirements for the assessment process, meaning this person has made complete payment for the training. This person has indicated the certificate to be issued, and this person has submitted within uh, the deadline. So as you can see, David, uh, Abu David uh, has submitted, we have checked, and it is ticked good. And uh, this was the date he submitted. This was the certificate to be issued that he requested, Excel and data. So if you open the spreadsheet, when you have submitted, and it is not ticked good, it means there's a problem. And maybe it is, it is ticked good, but the certificate to be issued, the place is empty. That means there's a problem. So you need to quickly uh, find a way to fix those problems. Hannah, can you go ahead and to fix it? Of course, you can go ahead to reach out to whoever um, the, the person responsible for uh, collecting the data that you have submitted. So it could be me and it could be any of my team members. So once you have submitted, you need to come here and check. Now, Sometimes when you have opened it before and your name has not reflected and you go back and open it, you need to refresh the page. You need to refresh it in order for your name to appear before you escalate. You need to refresh so that you can load the new names that has been updated for, for, for your name to appear. And at the end of the day, once your certificate is out, this column uh, certificate status will now show available. Once you see available, then it means your certificate is ready for pick up. What's the next thing that we need to do? What's the next thing that we need to do? So I've showed us the certificate to be issued. And I've, of course, I've showed us that we need to what? We need to refresh the page when we open it and our name has not appeared. That is when we have submitted our, our, our file for the assessment. Now, I've showed you how you need to go to the spreadsheet and check if your name is ticked. And one of the criteria for section C, instruction one, is that certificate will only be carried out exclusively for trainees who have fulfilled the payment requirement for the program. It means you must have completed your payment for the training before your certificate can be processed. If you see your name on the list and it is not ticked, it means there is a problem, like as I've mentioned. Or, or you see your name on the on the list. Maybe you have completed your payment, but you didn't indicate the certificate to be issued. You will see the place blank, and your certificate will not be processed. Please, it is very important that we adhere to this instruction. Very important that we adhere to this instruction. It will make the process simple for me and for you. Please. Very important to adhere to this instruction. Thank you very much. My name is Young Solomon Godwin, and I wish you the very best in your Microsoft Excel and data analysis post training assessments.